In mathematics, homology is a general way of associating a sequence of algebraic objects such as abelian groups or modules to other mathematical objects such as topological spaces. Homology groups were originally defined in algebraic topology. Similar constructions are available in a wide variety of other contexts, such as abstract algebra, groups, Lie algebras, Galois theory, and algebraic geometry. The original motivation for defining homology groups was the observation that two shapes can be distinguished by examining their holes. For instance, a circle is not a disk because the circle has a hole through it while the disk is solid, and the ordinary sphere is not a circle because the sphere encloses a two-dimensional hole while the circle encloses a one-dimensional hole. However, because a hole is not there, it is not immediately obvious how to define a hole or how to distinguish different kinds of holes. Homology was originally a rigorous mathematical method for defining and categorizing holes in a manifold. Loosely speaking, a cycle is a closed submanifold, a boundary is a cycle which is also the boundary of an open or closed submanifold, and a homology class which represents a whole is an equivalence class of cycles modulo boundaries. A non-trivial equivalence class is thus represented by a cycle which is not the boundary of any submanifold. A hypothetical manifold whose boundary would be that particular cycle is not there, which is why that cycle is indicative of the presence of a whole. There are many different homology theories. A particular type of mathematical object, such as a topological space or a group, may have one or more associated homology theories. When the underlying object has a geometric interpretation like topological spaces do, the nth homology group represents behavior unique to dimension n. In general, most homology groups or modules arise as derived functors on appropriate abelian categories. They provide concrete descriptions of the failure of a functor to be exact. From this abstract perspective, homology groups are determined by objects of a derived category. Topic: Background Topic. Origins Homology theory can be said to start with the Euler polyhedron formula, or Euler characteristic. This was followed by Riemann's definition of genus and n-fold connectedness numerical invariance in 1857 and Betty's proof in 1871 of the independence of «homology numbers». From the choice of basis, homology itself was developed as a way to analyze and classify manifolds according to their cycles, closed loops or more generally submanifolds that can be drawn on a given n-dimensional manifold but not continuously deformed into each other. These cycles are also sometimes thought of as cuts which can be glued back together, or as zippers which can be fastened and unfastened. Cycles are classified by dimension. For example, a line drawn on a surface represents a one cycle, a closed loop or S 1 display style S caret 1 one manifold, while a surface cut through a three-dimensional manifold is a two cycle. Topic Surfaces On the ordinary sphere S two Display style S carrot two The cycle B in the diagram can be shrunk to the pole, and even the equatorial great circle A can be shrunk in the same way. The Jordan curve theorem shows that any arbitrary cycle such as C can be similarly shrunk to a point. 
all cycles on the sphere can therefore be continuously transformed into each other and belong to the same homology class. They are said to be homologous to zero. Cutting a manifold along a cycle homologous to zero separates the manifold into two or more components. For example, cutting the sphere along a produces two hemispheres. This is not generally true of cycles on other surfaces. The torus T two display style T caret two has cycles which cannot be continuously deformed into each other. For example, in the diagram, none of the cycles A, B, or C can be. Cycles A and B cannot be shrunk significantly. Cycle C can be shrunk to a point, so it is homologous to zero. If the torus surface is cut along both A and B, it can be opened out and flattened into a rectangle or, more conveniently, a square. One opposite pair of sides represents the cut along A, and the other opposite pair represents the cut along B. The edges of the square may then be glued back together in different ways. The square can be twisted to allow edges to meet in the opposite direction, as shown by the arrows in the diagram. Up to symmetry, there are four distinct ways of gluing the sides, each creating a different surface. K 2 is the Klein bottle, which is a torus with a twist in it the twist can be seen in the square diagram as the reversal of the bottom arrow. It is a theorem that the re-glued surface must self-intersect when immersed in Euclidean 3 space. Like the torus, cycles A and B cannot be shrunk while C can be. But unlike the torus, following B forwards right round and back reverses left and right, because B happens to cross over the twist given to one join. If an equidistant cut on one side of B is made, it returns on the other side and goes round the surface a second time before returning to its starting point, cutting out a twisted Mobius strip. Because local left and right can be arbitrarily re-oriented in this way, the surface as a whole is said to be non-orientable. The projective plane P 2 Display style p caret two has both joins twisted. The uncut form, generally represented as the boy surface, is visually complex. So a hemispherical embedding is shown in the diagram, in which antipodal points around the rim, such as A and A, are identified as the same point. Again, A and B are non-shrinkable, while C is. But this time, both A and B reverse left and right. Cycles can be joined or added together, as A and B on the torus were when it was cut open and flattened down. In the Klein bottle diagram, A goes round one way and minus A goes round the opposite way. If A is thought of as a cut, then minus A can be thought of as a gluing operation. Making a cut and then re-gluing it does not change the surface, so a plus minus a equals zero. But now consider two a cycles. Since the Klein bottle is non-orientable, you can transport one of them all the way round the bottle along the B cycle, and it will come back as minus a. This is because the Klein bottle is made from a cylinder, whose a cycle ends are glued together with opposite orientations. Hence 2A. Topic A plus A. A plus minus A. Topic zero. This phenomenon is called torsion. Similarly, in the projective plane, following the unshrinkable cycle B round twice remarkably creates a trivial cycle which can be shrunk to a point, that is, B plus B. 
zero because B must be followed around twice to achieve a zero cycle, the surface is said to have a torsion coefficient of 2. However, following a B cycle around twice in the Klein bottle gives simply B plus B equals 2B, since this cycle lives in a torsion-free homology class. This corresponds to the fact that in the fundamental polygon of the Klein bottle, only one pair of sides is glued with a twist, whereas in the projective plane both sides are twisted. A square is a contractible topological space, which implies that it has trivial homology. Consequently, additional cuts disconnect it. The square is not the only shape in the plane that can be glued into a surface. Gluing opposite sides of an octagon, for example, produces a surface with two holes. In fact, all closed surfaces can be produced by gluing the sides of some polygon and all even-sided polygons two -gons can be glued to make different manifolds. Conversely, a closed surface with n non-zero classes can be cut into a 2n-gon. Variations are also possible, for example, a hexagon may also be glued to form a torus. The first recognizable theory of homology was published by Henri Poincare in his seminal paper, Analysis Citus, J. A. Cole Polytech, 2 1 1 121, 1895. The paper introduced homology classes and relations. The possible configurations of orientable cycles are classified by the Betty numbers of the manifold Betty numbers are a refinement of the Euler characteristic. Classifying the non-orientable cycles requires additional information about torsion coefficients, the complete classification of one and two manifolds is given in the table. Notes for a non-orientable surface, a hole is equivalent to two cross caps. Any two manifold is the connected sum of G tori and C projective planes. For the sphere S two, display style S caret two G topic C. Zero. Topic Generalization A manifold with boundary or open manifold is topologically distinct from a closed manifold and can be created by making a cut in any suitable closed manifold. For example, the disk or one ball B one Display style B carrot one is bounded by a circle S one display style S carrot one. It may be created by cutting a trivial cycle in any two manifold and keeping the piece removed by piercing the sphere and stretching the puncture wide, or by cutting the projective plane. It can also be seen as filling in the circle in the plane. When two cycles can be continuously deformed into each other, then cutting along one produces the same shape as cutting along the other, up to some bending and stretching. In this case the two cycles are said to be homologous or to lie in the same homology class. Additionally, if one cycle can be continuously deformed into a combination of other cycles, then cutting along the initial cycle is the same as cutting along the combination of other cycles. For example, cutting along a figure 8 is equivalent to cutting along its two lobes. In this case, the figure 8 is said to be homologous to the sum of its lobes. Two open manifolds with similar boundaries up to some bending and stretching may be glued together to form a new manifold which is their connected sum. This geometric analysis of manifolds is not rigorous. 
In a search for increased rigor, Poincaré went on to develop the simplicial homology of a triangulated manifold and to create what is now called a chain complex. These chain complexes since greatly generalized form the basis for most modern treatments of homology. In such treatments a cycle need not be continuous, a zero cycle is a set of points, and cutting along this cycle corresponds to puncturing the manifold. A one cycle corresponds to a set of closed loops an image of the one manifold S 1 Display style s caret one. On a surface, cutting along a one cycle yields either disconnected pieces or a simpler shape. A two cycle corresponds to a collection of embedded surfaces such as a sphere or a torus, and so on. Emmy Noether and, independently, Leopold Viatoris and Walther Mayer further developed the theory of algebraic homology groups in the period 1925–28. The new combinatorial topology formally treated topological classes as abelian groups. Homology groups are finitely generated abelian groups, and homology classes are elements of these groups. The Betty numbers of the manifold are the rank of the free part of the homology group, and the non-orientable cycles are described by the torsion part. The subsequent spread of homology groups brought a change of terminology and viewpoint from «combinatorial topology» to «algebraic topology». Algebraic homology remains the primary method of classifying manifolds. Topic. Informal examples Informally, the homology of a topological space X is a set of topological invariants of X represented by its homology groups H 0 X H 1 X H 2 X display style H underscore 0 X H underscore 1 X H underscore 2 X L dots where the K T H display style K carrot erm th homology group H K X Display style H underscore K X describes the K dimensional holes in X a zero dimensional hole as simply a gap between two components, consequently H zero X display style H underscore zero X describes the path connected components of X a one dimensional sphere S one display style S caret one is a circle. It has a single connected component and a one-dimensional hole, but no higher dimensional holes. The corresponding homology groups are given as HK S one equals ZK equals zero one zero. Otherwise, display style H underscore K S caret one equals begin cases math B Z and K equals zero one zero and text otherwise end cases where Z display style math B Z is the group of integers and zero display style zero is the trivial group the group h1 s1 equals z display style h underscore 1 s caret 1 equals math b z represents a finitely generated abelian group with a single generator representing the one dimensional hole contained in a circle a two-dimensional sphere S2 display style S caret 2 has a single connected component, no one-dimensional holes, a two-dimensional hole, and no higher-dimensional holes. 
the corresponding homology groups are HK S2 equals ZK equals 0 2 0 otherwise display style H underscore K S carrot 2 equals begin cases math B Z and K equals 0 2 0 and text otherwise end cases in general for an n dimensional sphere SN the homology groups are HK SN equals ZK equals 0 n 0 otherwise display style H underscore K s carrot n equals begin cases math B Z and K equals 0 n 0 and text otherwise end cases a two dimensional ball B2 is a solid disk it has a single path connected component but in contrast to the circle has no one dimensional or higher dimensional holes the corresponding homology groups are all trivial except for H0, B2 equals Z display style H underscore 0 B caret 2 equals math B Z. In general, for an n-dimensional ball Bn, Hk Bn equals Zk equals 0, 0 otherwise display style H underscore K B carrot N equals begin cases math B Z and K equals 0, 0 and text otherwise end cases. The torus is defined as a Cartesian product of two circles T equals S1 times S1 display style T equals equals s caret 1 times s caret 1 the torus has a single path connected component two independent one dimensional holes indicated by circles in red and blue and one two dimensional hole as the interior of the torus the corresponding homology groups are HK T equals ZK equals 0, 2 Z times ZK equals 1, 0. Otherwise, display style H underscore K T equals begin cases math B Z and K equals 0, 2 math B Z times math B Z and K equals 1, 0. And text otherwise end cases. The two independent 1D holes form independent generators in a finitely generated abelian group expressed as the cartesian product group z times z display style math b z times math b z topic construction of homology groups The construction begins with an object such as a topological space X, on which one first defines a chain complex C X encoding information about X. A chain complex is a sequence of abelian groups or modules C O, C1, C2 connected by homomorphisms N C N C N Minus one display style partial underscore n c underscore n to c underscore n one, which are called boundary operators. That is, n plus one c n n c n minus 1 n minus 1 2 c 1 1 c 0 0 0 display style dots b Overset partial underscore n plus one long right arrow c underscore n overset partial underscore n long right arrow c underscore n one overset partial underscore n one long right arrow d o t s b overset partial underscore two long right arrow c underscore one overset partial underscore one long right arrow c underscore zero overset partial underscore 
underscore zero long right arrow zero where zero denotes the trivial group and c i zero display style c underscore i equiv zero for i n n plus one equals zero n plus one n minus one display style partial underscore n circ partial underscore n plus one equals zero underscore n plus one n one i e the constant map sending every element of C n plus 1 to the group identity in C n minus 1. That the boundary of a boundary is trivial implies I m n plus 1 cur n display style mathrm i m partial underscore n plus 1 subset ek cur partial underscore n where I m n plus 1 display style mathrm i m partial underscore n plus 1 denotes the image of the boundary operator and cur n display style cur partial underscore n its kernel. Elements of B N X equals I M N plus one display style B underscore N X equals Mathem I'm partial underscore N plus one air called boundaries and elements of Z N X equals cur N display style Z underscore N X equals cur partial underscore N are called cycles. Since each chain group C N is abelian, all its subgroups are normal. Then, because cur N Display style cur partial underscore n is a subgroup of C n cur n display style cur partial underscore n is abelian, and since I m n plus one cur n Display style mathem I'm partial underscore n plus one leq cur partial underscore n. Therefore, I m n plus one. Display style mathem I'm partial underscore n plus one is a normal subgroup of cur n. Display style cur partial underscore n. Then one can create the quotient group H n x equals cur n i m n plus one equals z n x b n x display style h underscore n x equals cur partial underscore n mathrm i'm partial underscore n plus one equals z underscore n x b underscore n x Called the nth homology group of X, the elements of H n X are called homology classes. Each homology class is an equivalence class over cycles, and two cycles in the same homology class are said to be homologous. A chain complex is said to be exact if the image of the n plus one th map is always equal to the kernel of the nth map. The homology groups of X therefore measure how far the chain complex associated to x is from being exact the reduced homology groups of a chain complex c x are defined as homologies of the augmented chain complex n plus 1 c n n c n minus 1 n 
minus one two C one one C zero E Z zero Display style DOTS B overset partial underscore N plus one long right arrow C underscore N overset partial underscore N long right arrow C underscore N one overset partial underscore N one long right arrow DOTS B overset partial underscore two long right arrow C underscore one overset partial underscore one long right arrow C underscore Zero overset epsilon long right arrow math b z long right arrow zero, where the boundary operator e display style epsilon is e i n i sigma i equals i n i Display style epsilon left sum underscore i n underscore i sigma underscore i right equals sum underscore i n underscore i. For a combination ni sigma i of points sigma i, which are the fixed generators of C O, the reduced homology groups H tilde i x. Display style tilde h underscore i x coincide with h i x display style h underscore i x for i does not equal zero. The extra z display style math b z in the chain complex represents the unique map. X display style empty set long right arrow X from the empty simplex to X. Computing the cycle Z n X display style Z underscore n X and boundary B n X. Display style B underscore N X groups as usually rather difficult since they have a very large number of generators. On the other hand, there are tools which make the task easier. The simplicial homology groups H N X of a simplicial complex X are defined using the simplicial chain complex C X, with C N X the free abelian group generated by the N simplices of X. The singular homology groups H N X are defined for any topological space X, and agree with the simplicial homology groups for a simplicial complex. Cohomology groups are formally similar to homology groups. One starts with a cochain complex, which is the same as a chain complex but whose arrows, now denoted dn, point in the direction of increasing n rather than decreasing n, then the groups cur d n equals z n x Display style cur d caret n equals z caret n x of cocycles and i m d n minus one equals b n x Display style mathem I'm d caret n one equals b caret n x of co-boundaries follow from the same description. The nth cohomology group of X is then the quotient group H n x equals z n x b n x 
Display style h caret n x equals z caret n x b caret n x. In analogy with the nth homology group. Topic: Types of homology. The different types of homology theory arise from functors mapping from various categories of mathematical objects to the category of chain complexes. In each case the composition of the functor from objects to chain complexes and the functor from chain complexes to homology groups defines the overall homology functor for the theory. Topic simplicial homology The motivating example comes from algebraic topology, the simplicial homology of a simplicial complex X. Here the chain group Cn is the free abelian group or module whose generators are the n-dimensional oriented simplexes of X. The orientation is captured by ordering the complex's vertices and expressing an oriented simplex sigma sigma as an n-tuple sigma zero. Sigma one, sigma n, display style sigma zero, sigma one dots, sigma n of its vertices listed in increasing order, i.e. sigma zero, sigma one, sigma n, display style sigma zero in the complex's vertex ordering, where sigma i, display style sigma i is the i, display style i th vertex appearing in the tuple. The mapping. N display style partial underscore N from CN to CN one is called the boundary mapping and sends the simplex sigma equals sigma zero sigma one sigma N Display style sigma equals sigma zero sigma one dots sigma n to the formal sum n sigma equals i equals zero n minus one i sigma zero Sigma I minus one Sigma I plus one Sigma N Display style partial underscore n sigma equals sum underscore i equals zero carrot n minus one carrot i left sigma zero dots sigma i one sigma i plus one dots sigma n right, which is considered zero if n equals zero. This behavior on the generators induces a homomorphism on all of C n as follows. Given an element C element of C N display style C in C underscore N write it as the sum of generators C equals Sigma I element of X N M I Sigma I Display style C equals sum underscore sigma underscore I in x underscore N M underscore I sigma underscore I where Xn is the set of N simplexes in X and the me are coefficients from the ring Cn is defined over usually integers, unless otherwise specified. Then define N C equals Sigma I element of X N M I N Sigma I 
Display style partial underscore N C equals sum underscore sigma underscore I in X underscore N M underscore I partial underscore N sigma underscore I the dimension of the NTH homology of X turns out to be the number of holes in X at dimension N. It may be computed by putting matrix representations of these boundary mappings in Smith normal form. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Singular homology. Using simplicial homology example as a model, one can define a singular homology for any topological space X. A chain complex for X is defined by taking Cn to be the free abelian group or free module whose generators are all continuous maps from n-dimensional simplices into X. The homomorphisms n arise from the boundary maps of simplexes. Topic. Group homology In abstract algebra, one uses homology to define derived functors, for example the Tor functors. Here one starts with some covariant additive functor f and some module x. The chain complex for x is defined as follows. First find a free module f1 and a surjective homomorphism p1, f1x. Then one finds a free module f2 and a surjective homomorphism p2, f2 cur, p1. Continuing in this fashion, a sequence of free modules Fn and homomorphisms Pn can be defined. By applying the functor F to this sequence, one obtains a chain complex. The homology Hn of this complex depends only on F and X and is, by definition, the nth derived functor of F, applied to X. Other homology theories Topic: Homology functors Chain complexes form a category, a morphism from the chain complex Dn, and N1 to the chain complex N, Bn Bn1 is a sequence of homomorphisms Fn, and Bn such that F N minus 1 D N equals E N F N display style F underscore N one circ D underscore N equals E underscore N circ F underscore N for all N. The NTH homology H N can be viewed as a covariant functor from the category of chain complexes to the category of abelian groups or modules. If the chain complex depends on the object X in a covariant manner meaning that any morphism XY induces a morphism from the chain complex of X to the chain complex of Y, then the HN are covariant functors from the category that X belongs to into the category of abelian groups or modules. The only difference between homology and cohomology is that in cohomology the chain complexes depend in a contravariant manner on X, and that therefore the homology groups which are called cohomology groups in this context and denoted by HN form contravariant functors from the category that X belongs to into the category of abelian groups or modules. Topic Properties If Dn, and N1 is a chain complex such that all but finitely many an R0, and the others are finitely generated abelian groups or finite dimensional vector spaces, then we can define the Euler characteristic chi equals minus 1 in 
R A N K A N Display style chi equals sum minus one carrot n mathem rank a underscore n using the rank in the case of abelian groups and the Hamel dimension in the case of vector spaces. It turns out that the Euler characteristic can also be computed on the level of homology. Chi equals minus one in r a n k h n display style chi equals sum minus 1 caret n mathrm rank h underscore n and especially in algebraic topology this provides two ways to compute the important invariant chi for the object x which gave rise to the chain complex every short exact sequence 0 a b c 0 Display style zero, right arrow A, right arrow B, right arrow C, right arrow zero of chain complexes gives rise to a long exact sequence of homology groups H N A H N B H N C H N minus one a h n minus one b h n minus one c h n minus two a Display style C D O T S to H underscore N A to H underscore N B to H underscore N C to H underscore N one O to H underscore N one B to H underscore N one C to H underscore N two O to C D O T S all maps in this long exact sequence are induced by the maps between the chain complexes, except for the maps Hn, C, Hn1, A. The latter are called connecting homomorphisms and are provided by the zig-zag lemma. This lemma can be applied to homology in numerous ways that aid in calculating homology groups, such as the theories of relative homology and mayer viatoris sequences. Topic Applications Topic Application in pure mathematics Notable theorems proved using homology include the following the Brouwer fixed point theorem if f is any continuous map from the ball bn to itself then there is a fixed point a element of bn with f a equals a invariance of domain if u is an open subset of rn and f urn is an injective continuous map then v equals f u is open and f is a homeomorphism between u and v the Harry Ball theorem, any vector field on the 2-sphere or more generally, the 2-k sphere for any k1 vanishes at some point. The borsuk ulam theorem, any continuous function from an n-sphere into Euclidean n-space maps some pair of antipodal points to the same point. Two points on a sphere are called antipodal if they are in exactly opposite directions from the sphere's center. Invariance of dimension, if non-empty open subsets U R M Display style U subset Math B R carrot M and V R 
N Display style V subset Math B R carrot N R homeomorphic, then M equals N Display style M equals N Topic Application in science and engineering In topological data analysis, data sets are regarded as a point cloud sampling of a manifold or algebraic variety embedded in Euclidean space. By linking nearest neighbor points in the cloud into a triangulation, a simplicial approximation of the manifold is created and its simplicial homology may be calculated. Finding techniques to robustly calculate homology using various triangulation strategies over multiple length scales is the topic of persistent homology. In sensor networks, sensors may communicate information via an ad hoc network that dynamically changes in time. To understand the global context of this set of local measurements and communication paths, it is useful to compute the homology of the network topology to evaluate, for instance, holes in coverage. In dynamical systems theory in physics, Poincare was one of the first to consider the interplay between the invariant manifold of a dynamical system and its topological invariants. Morse theory relates the dynamics of a gradient flow on a manifold to, for example, its homology. Flower homology extended this to infinite dimensional manifolds. The CAM theorem established that periodic orbits can follow complex trajectories, in particular, they may form braids that can be investigated using flower homology. In one class of finite element methods, boundary value problems for differential equations involving the Hodge Laplace operator may need to be solved on topologically nontrivial domains, for example, in electromagnetic simulations. In these simulations, solution is aided by fixing the cohomology class of the solution based on the chosen boundary conditions and the homology of the domain. FEM domains can be triangulated, from which the simplicial homology can be calculated. Topic: <laughs> Software. Various software packages have been developed for the purposes of computing homology groups of finite cell complexes. Linbox is a C++ library for performing fast matrix operations, including Smith normal form. It interfaces with both GAP and Maple. CHOMP, CAPD, Redhom and Perseus are also written in C++. All three implement pre-processing algorithms based on simple homotopy equivalence and discrete Morse theory to perform homology preserving reductions of the input cell complexes before resorting to matrix algebra. Kenzo is written in Lisp, and in addition to homology it may also be used to generate presentations of homotopy groups of finite simplicial complexes. GMSH includes a homology solver for finite element meshes, which can generate cohomology bases directly usable by finite element software. See also Betty number Cycle space Eilenberg Steenrod axioms Extraordinary homology theory Homological algebra Homological conjectures in commutative algebra Homological dimension Kunath theorem List of cohomology theories, also has a list of homology theories De Rham cohomology Notes <laughs>